Thanks for joining the Retriever Nation. I'm Terry, and this is what you can expect raising a litter of puppies week seven, our final trip into twins territory. The MVP award for the season goes to your mama and is well-deserved. Trying to dry up milk, last week I shared a natural method I was using to decrease milk supply. I've been adding one teaspoon of sage and one quarter cup of curly leaf parsley, not flat leaf, which is toxic to dogs, to her evening dinners. I'm quite satisfied with the results. I've tried other methods with past litters and have found these herbs to be a much nicer way that provides the same results. With continued exercise, mammary tissue will tighten right up and she'll be back into pre-pregnancy shape in no time. This is the week you prepare your puppies to go, although you've truly been doing this all along. In these short seven weeks, you've completed ENS, successfully potty trained, done sound desensitization, socialized them, and visited the vet. Good job! You can be confident they are well prepared for their new homes. And just on time, those once closed eyes have turned from blue to the browns that melt hearts, and they are ready to do just that with their new families. Your puppies have grown much over these seven weeks, but before they go, get one final weight. This will help new owners know what amount to feed. New owners will be leaving with paperwork, so prepare and label a folder for each puppy. We include the following in ours. The puppy's weight, the AKC registration form, our hip and eye guarantee, an ENS certificate of completion, information on food and supplements, and a congratulations on your new puppy letter with suggestions for a good transition. We also send some food and supplements along. Oh, and how could I forget? I send each with their blankie, which for a while longer holds the scent of their litter mates and mama. The day before the puppies get picked up, we spend a lot of time soaking in the lasts. The last playtime. The last wrestling. The last tug of war. The last run with the big dogs. The last play with mama. Last caresses. Last puppy piles for me. And them. These twins have been a great team. But tomorrow, they'll separate. An end of an era. Pickup day arrives. This day is all about the new owners. As we've been counting down the days for when we must say goodbye, new owners have been counting down the days until they finally get to say hello, and our focus is being excited for them. Minnie is picked up first. She is going to a home with an older canine sister named Remy, who just happens to be a full sister. And just like that, Minnie turns into Mia. Polly is picked up next. He is going to a home with an older canine sister named Maddie and a feline friend named Fu. And just like that, Polly turns into Ben. With each puppy, we are given a decade or more of love away, and that feels really good. Though no longer my Minnesota twins, I'm confident they'll put passion, hustle, heart, and fun into all they do, for this is twins' tradition. That's a wrap in this ballpark. Thanks for staying with us through the end. Be sure to check out our other playlists on hunt tests, field trials, and training. Like and subscribe. Your support of our channel truly means so much to us. Until next time, this is Terry at The Retriever Nation.